Today I'm going to be doing a, um, something I got in the mail review, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so the company is The Body Shop. When I think of The Body Shop, I just think of body butters and lotion. Really don't think of your face and makeup. So they actually sent me a couple things and the products are so good. It is kind of, I don't know, like I like everything, so... I hope I don't get criticized for that, but I do. Um, nothing really dissatisfied me at all, which is strange because I am, I am a hard person to please, I would say. If the products aren't good, I'm not going to talk about them. I'm not going to sit here and waste my time and say shit about them that isn't true. Let's get started. All right, my number one <laughs> favorite is this. And if you watch me on Blog TV, I actually use this full or... I started using a couple weeks ago, but I think this was shown on Blog TV last. I think it'll fit anyone. Okay, so if you're if you're those people who kind of like the calmer blush, I would start out with this and just put it on your cheekbones. And then if you think you need a little more color, you can do the darker shade, like a little bit of it, you know, so it's not too crazy. But me, I like to swipe the whole thing. It comes out a really pretty shimmery pink color. And it is so pretty, trust me. I think this was in my back to school makeup video. So, so pretty. Alright, so my second thing is this. And it is warm. Oh, this is called, this is called Cool Dusk. So, Cool Dusk. So, Warm Sunset right here. And it is really, really pretty too. It is a lot warmer. It comes on your cheek. It's kind of peachier. You can also use this side for a bronzer, side for blusher. I like the pinker one because it kind of makes my face pop. It depends what you like. But I like them both, so I'm, I'm glad that they sent me both. Next thing is going to be this. And it is the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. So this is what it looks like. This is really, really good too. And what you do is just take cotton swabs, kind of dab it on there, and just kind of wipe your makeup off. And this is an eye makeup remover, but when I use it, I use it for my entire... I guess it just depends on your preference. It is really, really good. And right after I use it, my face feels really soft. I can compare it to this. Um, I recently did a little review on this, and this stuff is amazing. Amazing, but this is really good too. I think they're pretty comparable. They remove all of your makeup, so you know it's kind of on the same and level. They almost also send me all of liners, and these are the eyeliners. They come out really, really smooth with the color. I usually like to either fill the lid and put eyeshadow over it, you know, so it's a nice base, or I put it on my lower lid so just have a pop if it's like a neutral smoky eye or whatever it is so this color is so pretty it is called uh, brilliant blue I have a silver it's called shimmering seal I haven't tried the silver yet or this I only tried the blue burnish amber and Vibrant Emerald. So I haven't tried these yet because I'm so safe with colors, but I tried this. And I like the blue. This one I also have tried, and it's a lip liner. This is so pretty. It is in the color Rosy Red. And I filled my lips with this, and I put um, Max Russian Red over it, and it looks really, really pretty. Crazy red lips. It'll be just perfect. I don't know. I like it. This one I'm also really fond of, and this is the Body Shop Radiant Highlighter. It comes on really even, and it's not too thick, so it doesn't come on all chunky and gooey. What I do is just take a little, you don't need a lot at all, and just dab it around my eye area, and then on the bridge of my nose and a little above my lips to give like a fuller lip illusion. And it comes out so pretty. Um, it's sheer, kind of. It's not too pigmented, which is perfect because you really don't want it to be too pigmented when you're highlighting your face. This one, I would say it's okay. I am a really hard person to please when it comes to mascara. I'm extremely, extremely picky. 
my eyelashes are just really hard to tame because they are long but they're not very thick. So I have a hard time curling my lashes. I have to waterproof use mascara after I curl it as a first layer. It's really hard to just manage. I like a mascara that's all around, but I haven't found one yet. I'd say I have a lengthener, a volumizer, you know, but I haven't found the perfect one yet. If you have suggestions, put it down there because I probably need them. I've tried a lot of mascara. Your show, the Smoky Eye from Makeup Forever, Lancome Lash Definisil, Lancome Hypnos, Lancome Curve, Curvaceous or something, I don't know, some curve thing. The Cilus Boosters from Lancome, Lash Blast, Lash Stiletto, Sky High Lashes from Lean. That's what I'm saying. This is a nice mascara to make your eyes kind of look feathery, like the lashes look a little feathery, and it's really natural. So if you're into that, then definitely get this. This is the Body Shop Super Volume Mascara. So it just gives you really nice feathery lashes. Not so much on the length, but like it says, it's a super volume mascara, so don't expect the length. It's more of a volume thing. So I think that's why it kind of makes it look feathery. They also sent me three of these shadows. And it comes out so pretty. I've tried all three of them. The first one I really like a lot. It reminds me of a darker version of Max Shale. And the shale is like kind of a lighter purple with a gold undertone, kind of an antique gold purple look. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really pretty, kind of pearly. And that's probably my favorite, favorite shade. So this one reminds me of it. It's a little darker, so I think it's a nice smoky eye look called Vivid Amethyst. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll probably put it down there since I can't pronounce it really well. But this is what it looks like. It is really pretty and pigmented. I'll open it for you. All of these products are mineral based also. Really pigmented. I just put a primer and then put it on top or you can use a cream shadow and then put this on top of it to make it more pigmented. But I don't need that because I don't really like to wear it too dark. Alright, so these are the two shadows. I like them both very much. This is more of a neutral shadow. This is called the iTrio shade Sundown Glow. It is so pretty. I usually use this on my entire lid and my sh um, brow bone. And then either or of these two browns to just give me like a slight crease. So they're all really pretty and pigmented. I like them all. Ooh. I think they're made of the same stuff as a blush, which is a different color. And it, that's why I like it, because I love the blush, too. This one, I really like. I'm such a purple person right now. I think it's just because it's fall and you're just getting into the mood, you know. But this purple comes out really pretty with a gray and green. I like the gray. I put it, I put it underneath my eye if I don't want too dramatic of a look. And I haven't tried the green yet, but the purple and the gray are really pretty. And then here I have the Skin Primer Matte It. It's a little thicker in consistency, which kind of turns me off because I'm not really a big fan of primers that are too thick. The only primer that I actually like is the NARS Primer. Otherwise, all the primers I've tried are really really thick in consistency. I'm not a really big fan of that. I like it a little watered down so it evenly spreads throughout my skin and it feels light and fresh and that's what NARS does to my skin. This one I'm not really that fond of. I've used once or twice but nothing really impresses me or doesn't really stick out. I have three shades of lipstick also. I'm gonna open them. So these are the three shades of lipstick I have. I've used the middle one before and I would pair it with the liner that it goes with. It's really pretty and bright and moisturizing. These two I haven't used, the two on the side, because I just really don't wear lipstick too much. I've been using gloss a lot. I have been kind of lazy with my makeup and just not really wear a lot. I like the lipstick. It's really moisturizing. It evenly goes on your skin. Well, your lips. Yeah, but... <laughs> so... Try it all if you want, but what I recommend is definitely the makeup remover and I recommend the two blushes because 
they are really, 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 really pretty. I like them so much. I just can't describe how much I like this one. Like this luminous look. It's just really pretty. And I like the makeup remover. It just makes my skin feel soft. And it does remove all the makeup. And this is probably my um, second favorite now shadow. Really pretty and pigmented. These two I like a lot. You can get this type of color anywhere. If you're into the mineral eyeshadows, then definitely try them out because they are worth it, I think. Sorry that I like too many things because it's going to make you want to buy them too and I hate it when I watch these haul videos and people are just saying how much they like certain things and it makes me want to go out and buy it and I've done that before. Like I've got the Egyptian Magic Cream and the BB Cream, which I don't regret because, well, maybe the Egyptian Magic Cream because... I don't know. It's okay. It's kind of expensive, but definitely the BB cream that I don't regret getting because Bubby recommended it. And what else? And the Solar Reach, which I like a lot, that Fefinet recommended. Haul videos are a disaster when you have no money because you just want to go out there and get it and you'll be broke. So I hope I don't do that to you, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go to school now. Bye, guys.